Wolf Kettlebum, and in this episode, I wanted to share my thoughts on the lineup routine. There it is! Now, when I first started playing in 1925, I would do the lineup all the time and still do it to this day. But over the years, I have come across individuals who have said things like, That's too easy. You wouldn't get the balls like that in a frame. What is the point in doing that? How very rude. But I know of many professionals over the years who swear by it. Granted, there are many other routines, but ultimately, practice is down to personal preference. So I say, Poppycock! I believe that the lineup can help a player with cue ball control, potting balls and making breaks, confidence building, and with improvement, a little showing off. What's what? So, how do I do this lineup routine? Well, I have for myself a few rules and guidelines, so listen up. 1. Avoid cannons or moving balls other than the ones I am putting. Keep that table tidy. 2. Try and stay on the high value colours. 3. Keep the cue ball away from the cushions, but close to the object ball. Mind your work. 4. Focus on controlling the cue ball. 5. If I miss, I reset the table. There is no place for complacency here. And six. I do ten repetitions, mark the breaks on the board, and after a short rest, do another ten, attempting to beat the previous score. This adds more of a challenge to the task. Remember, the goal is to clear the table and get a century. So, that's basically it. I had been recording my breaks from 2005 to now, but unfortunately, some of my earlier data has been lost. <gasps> the following chart shows my total breaks up to this present day. Blimey, Mr. Scuttlebum. That's a lot of numbers. Spiffing. Anyway, I'm off to do a little more practice, so I suggest you do the same. And remember, it's all just a load of balls, really. Ta-ta for now. <laughs>